Hello, and welcome to This, That, and the Other. And today I'm going to be discussing the history of color television. I found a little bit on the internet about it. I first started seeing color televisions in the 1960s, and late 60s, and at neighbors' houses, and the quality was was not very good. It, matter of fact, a lot of times the colors were not correct colors. We didn't get a color television until... 1977. It took us forever to get one. And by then, it had improved dramatically. Between 1946 and 1950, research staff at RCA Laboratories developed the first electronic color television system. RCA began commercial broadcasting on December 17, 1953. Read, read this thing from the internet. The FCC authorized CBS's color television technology as a national standard not until 1950. However, the system at the time was bulky, picture quality was terrible, and technology was not compatible with earlier black and white sets. CBS began color broadcasting on five East Coast stations in June of 1951. And RCA started selling color television sets in 1954. A company named Ampex made a color video tape recorder in 1958, and NBC used it to tape an evening with Fred Astaire, the oldest surviving network color video tape. 1958, President Dwight D. Eisenhower visited the NBC station in Washington, D.C., and gave a speech discussing new technology's merits. His speech was recorded in color. A copy of this videotape was given to the Library of Congress. NBC made the first coast-to-coast -coast broadcast when it telecast the Tournament of Rovers the Parade on January 1st, 1954. Premiere of Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color in September 1961 created a turning point that persuaded consumers to go out and purchase color television sets. Television broadcasting nations and networks in most parts of the world upgraded from black and white to color television transmission in 1960s, 1970s. By 1979, even the last of these had been converted to color, and by the early 80s, black and white sets were mostly small portable sets or those used as video monitor screens and lower cost consumer equipment. By, by the late 1980s, even these areas were switched to color sets. I remember when I worked for People's Drug during the 1980s, they would run specials on black and white, small small black and white television sets and sell them in our store for prices that were attractive enough to get customers into the store. And 1988 was, I remember, it was the last time I remember seeing black and white television sets stole, sold in that store. And after that, I, ne I never saw black and white televisions on the market again. They, they aren't around anymore, and, and there's no appeal for them anymore. Why, do you, why does anybody want to see something in black and white? I, I, I didn't, I didn't care, care for seeing stuff in black and white when I was, was younger. I, I, was, I was very happy with the advent of the color, color television, and now everything is, everything is in color. When we lived overseas in Okinawa, the American Forces Radio and Television Network showed a lot of the shows in black and white. That, a lot of the shows that were, were shown on the American station in Okinawa were shows that were originally in color, but black and white kinescopes were made, and that's basically how they projected uh, television in Okinawa on um, um, 16 millimeters kinescopes. And I remember, remember touring with the uh, radio, the television radio station uh, over there, and and seeing all the seeing the prints, many many sixteen millimeter rolls of prints, rolls of prints, or real real I'm sorry reels of prints, and I remember asking somebody who worked at the station why they why they were shown in black and white, and he said at the time was they were cheaper to broadcast in black and white than than color. There now some shows. Over there were shown in color. I believe Bonanza was shown in color and Gunsmoke and some of the more popular shows you would see in color and newer, newer shows. 
But a lot of the shows, like I said, that were originally in color, were like All in the Family, Sanford and Son, those, those would be projected in black and white. And that's what I was able to find out on the history of color, on history of color, color television. And I'm looking for more ideas on what to do shows on in the future. I do obscure subjects related to preserving history. Any ideas? Let me know if it's feasible. I'll research it and I'll talk about it. I don't. I don't do politics. Don't don't do religion. I don't do those two subjects. But other than that, I'll. I'll, I'll, I'll discuss pretty much anything. That being said, like, subscribe, share. As always, thanks for watching.